Hello everyone, this is Kunal Shah, Head of Commodity Research from Nirmal Bank. Shifting our focus from energy to the metal part and the metal, it's quite interesting. The supply side of a lot of these metals are getting weaker and especially of the copper. Uh, copper supply side issues continue to persist. On the other hand, the demand side continues to remain so stronger, excluding China. So China, I mean, when you talk about the copper consumption, more than 52% of the copper consumption comes from China and China the demand growth for the copper is quite slow but countries like India are going to consume and produce more and more copper going forward so India's copper demand is going to grow at a double digit growth, growth rate in next three to four years uh, and I'm talking about the compounding growth uh, it eventually turns out to be quite big so some of the loss of demand from China will be made, will be met up, will be met by a country like India or uh, South American countries or uh, for example Africa or Indonesia, Vietnam, this kind of countries, you know. So metals, uh, we remain optimistic post first half or during the second quarter of this year because that's the time when the rate cut scenario will start that that case base case scenario for rate cuts will start to have an impact on the prices so copper around 710 great buy zinc around 220 great buy aluminum around 200 rupees 198 rupees great buy for the 10 to 15 percent upside by the end of the year these levels can come post or during the first quarter of 2024 but uh, that would be an opportunity to buy another 5 to 8 percent decline from here is a great person great position because the rate cut narrative at some point will have an impact on all commodities so muted start to the year later going to pick up that's our base case scenario